What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Varsity Overland channel. In today's video, I'm gonna take a trip up north to Woodstock, Vermont with my good buddy, Mr. Rob Rain. We're gonna head up to an event that's hosted by the Northeast Adventure Company. It's just like a small little meet and greet. There'll be some food. They're gonna do a raffle with all the proceeds going towards the Tread Lightly campaign, which is pretty cool. Um, and then afterwards, Rob and I are gonna go into the Green Mountain National Forest and attempt to find a campsite. And I say attempt, um, but what I really mean is fail miserably because I am recording this after the fact. So it was a few days ago and let me tell you, it was not pretty. So if you wanna see what happened, stick around. Woodstock, Vermont. Um, we're not camping in Woodstock. We're going to Woodstock to take part in a meet and greet event that uh, Northeast Adventure Company is putting together. Just to meet a bunch of other overlanders that live in the area, possibly see some new products. Um, I've never been to an event like this, so it'll be a nice, a nice new experience. Stick around and uh, enjoy the show. Afterwards, we'll head to the campsite. Some good looking rigs right there. Who do you think owns those things? Not happy people. Not happy people? <laughs> it's not like gas is expensive or anything. All right, people, well, we have made it to the campsite um, after the event in Woodstock, or what we believe is gonna be our campsite for the night. And the 20 to 30% chance of rain that Google was predicting earlier today is currently happening right now. And I believe it was a little bit of a lie. 
saying 20 to 30 percent i usually just assume ah that means like it might not even happen and if it does it's going to be something light it's not exactly light and it hasn't been a short period of time it's been raining for over an hour now it's kind of like that perfect just annoying amount of rain I can see it, you probably can't see it. Yeah, you definitely can't see any of the rain droplets falling, but trust me, it's raining and it's been raining for a little while. So we are at uh, the site that we plan to use in the Green Mountain National Forest just outside of Granville, Vermont. Um, took us about an hour to get here from Woodstock. Wasn't the original place that we were gonna use. We actually went to a spot, uh, a piece of public land kind of like nestled right between two private land um, areas that were marked on I Overlander, but of course, you know, there's a bunch of people there. So the next closest spot we could find was here in the National Forest. And uh, as we were driving here, it started to rain and it has not stopped raining. And so we are kind of doing the waiting game. We have awnings and stuff. You might be able to see Rob parked next to me over there. Um, we've got awnings we could pop out and uh, make the mess, make the best of it. But if it is supposed to pass fairly quickly, if it is supposed to be a 20 to 30% thing, then we'll just wait it out. Not really sure at the moment. I'm using my Garmin inReach to uh, message back home to see if I can get some help figuring out what the weather's supposed to be. I'll show you how I'm doing that. So, of course, I had to charge my Garmin. Um, luckily, it brought the Jackery. I thought it was charged. But I am literally just typing out the message I want to send. There's a lot easier, uh, an easier way to do this with an app on your phone. Um, it's been quite a while since I've used it, so I actually couldn't even figure the app out or find it on my phone. I might have deleted it to make some room for storage. Who knows? But, yeah. I am just sending a simple message. Can you check weather Granville? I'm going to send it back home and see if I can get some help on that. I've had these Max tracks for almost a month now and haven't even had to use them for anything, so I was finally able to get them dirty by leveling out the truck. All right, this is what we're doing. This is us. This is what we're dealing with. Mr. Rob forgot long pants. I don't have a jacket of any kind. Currently got my room awning pop, popped out, leaking all over the place on one side. Lots of water. Rob's got his ginormous, no, ginormous ARB awning. But it is still raining. And I just got a text message back from home, thanks to my InReach Mini, as well as a weather update, thanks to my InReach Mini. And looks more like a 100% chance of rain until 9 o'clock. And the wind keeps going off and on, off and on. I have no idea what we're doing. Whether we'll just stay. It's not even like we can light a fire. Can't even keep the fire going on the ground. Drove two and a half hours. Little over two and a half hours for this. Unclear what's gonna happen. Holy cow. Arrival time at home, 10.24 p.m. I've been driving for almost three hours, 
and I'm pretty sure my shoes and socks are still soaked. What a day. All right, folks, well, I'm back home, obviously. Um, similar to what I said at the start of the video, I am filming this segment a couple days after the trip. So, no, we did not camp in the Green Mountain National Forest. We got rained out. Um, if it wasn't like a one-nighter, you know, and it wasn't just a few hours from home, yeah, we would have, you know, stuck it out and, and you know, just made it work in the rain. But uh, if it's like something short and close and you don't want to sit there and not even be able to make a fire because of the rain and just kind of like be miserable, yeah, I'd rather avoid all that. So we came home. Um, but I think overall the trip was pretty cool. The event that Northeast Adventure Company put together was was awesome. There were some great people, had some great conversation, shared a really, you know, a lot of really cool stories um, and had some good food. And also I won a hat from the pilgrimage group, um, which is a group that kind of sponsors this event called the, the pilgrimage, um, which is like this big off-road kind of like trail riding event in Vermont um, in October. You should definitely check it out. It's pretty cool. And Rob even got a um, really awesome like tire airing down and airing up uh, device from uh, Morflate. He can now air up and air down all four tires at the same time. Super jealous about that. But yeah, that's all I got. I'm going to wrap up this video and um, hope you guys enjoyed all the rigs. Hope you enjoyed the information about Northeast Adventure Company. Um, really appreciate that event from Northeast Adventure Company. Bug just flew in my eye. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. So thanks for sticking around people and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.